Welcome to ClickMyProject.com. This video demonstrates an authentication concept about efficient multimodal biometric authentication using fast fingerprint verification and enhanced iris features. Biometric refers to identify an individual based on his or her physiological or behavioral characteristics. Many unimodal biometric systems exist, but often has limitations due to sensitivity to noise, data quality and other factors. Multimodal biometric systems elevate some of the problems by providing multiple pieces of evidence of the same identity and these systems help to achieve an increase in performance that may not be possible using a single biometric indicator. In this paper, we introduce a dynamic fingerprint verification technique fused with enhanced iris recognition using adaptive rank level fusion method. The flow of the project starts with fingerprint enrollment. Here, we normalize the fingerprint because the quality of the rich structures in a fingerprint image is an important characteristic that carry information required for minute extraction. The most commonly used reference point is the core point. A core point is defined as the point at which a maximum direction change is detected in the orientation field of a fingerprint image or the point at which the directional field becomes discontinuous. In order to extract the reference point, we compute the sign component of the smoothened orientation field. The endings and bifurcations of the fingerprint images are known as minute. The most commonly employed method for minute extraction is crossing number. The CN value is computed which is defined as half the sum of the difference between pairs of adjacent pixels in the 8 neighborhood. Using the properties of CN, the rich pixel can then be classified as a rich ending, bifurcations or non-minute point. In order to extract the features of fingerprint, we first convert the Cartesian coordinates into polar coordinates. The polar coordinate representation are rotational and transitional invariant with respect to their reference point. After the coordinates transformation, the minutes are sorted in ascending order according to their distances from the reference point. To compute a minimum area that covers a predetermined number of minute points, we select the first minute from the list to form the master feature template. In iris enrollment, Histogram equalization is done to expand the pixel value distribution of an image so as to increase the perceptional information. Secondly, fast Fourier transform is applied so that the image gets converted into a filtered image in the frequency domain. Thirdly, binarization is applied to transform the 8-bit gray image to a 1-bit image with 0 values for ridges and 1 value for furrows. Fourthly, the direction information of the minute is considered for authentication. Thus, the orientation information is obtained by converting ridges and furrows to flow curves pointing the direction. Fifthly, the skeletonization of iris is done for making the terminations and bifurcations to be clearly visible. The thinned iris is then subjected for minute extraction. At the end of this step, we obtain the iris segmented. Feature extraction is the same as fingerprint.
we propose a logistic regression technique in rank level approach. In the logistic regression method, a weighted sum of the individual ranks is calculated. The weight to be assigned to different matches is determined by logistic regression. This method is very efficient when different matching modules have significant differences in their accuracies but requires a training phase to determine their weights. When the output of each biometric matcher is subset of possible matches sorted in decreasing order of confidence, the fusion is done at the rank level. In logistic regression method, a weighted sum of the individual ranks is calculated. Now we will see the demo of the project. Right click on mainfile.m from the source code folder and select run file. From this window select the fingerprint button and select any fingerprint from the data set of fingerprint images. So here I click on to the 8th image and select open. So we can see that the input image, the gray image The normalized image, its reliability, its orientation, we have detected the code point, the binarized image, thinning and termination has been done. Based on that, the minute has been extracted and in this step the false minute has been removed. Next click on to iris button. Select any iris image, select open button. So here we have the input image, point transform, a denoised image, the binarized image, erosion has been applied, opening has been applied, reconstruction and the holes have been filled and the borders have been cleared. The direction has been identified thinning has been applied and the minute has been detected and the false minute has been removed from the iris. Now we recognize and a message comes as person recognized. If you want to continue with another input you can click on to fingerprint button and proceed as explained earlier else you can click on to exit button and quit. The proposed system integrates two different biometric matches of fingerprint and iris and incorporates a rank level fusion module to improve the recognition performance. Thank you.